In version 22, we're going to introduce 3D Router, and the workflow is similar to that of 3D Bevel, with the major difference being that we will require 3D files to be used. And that is because in the 2D environment, it's just not possible to visualize and apply toolpath to some of these more complex parts. So the first thing I'll do here is click Auto NC, and we have a Use Interactive Mode button similar to that of Bevel. And when this opens up, I will show you first how we recognize pockets and what this does is just allows the user to visualize how a part is going to be tooled. There are options for how to adjust the way these pockets are created, but you'll see when I click Auto and see that the toolpath generated for these top pockets is not negatively impacted by the presence of the pocket inside of it. So I'll simulate through this toolpath here and explain a few of the differences that you may notice. I'm going to uh, speed through this first half so that I can show you the difference on the other side of the part. I'm going to zoom in here and what you'll see here is that there's actually two passes uh, different depths and that is because the depth that a certain tool can cut is controlled in our rule manager and that allows a user to set up different depths for every tool based on the material that it may be cutting. Now, after this, we'll move to the internal pocket, and there's a tool change down to a half-inch mill to get those smaller radii corners. There is a feature similar to that of auxiliary tooling, but in the rule manager, all of our tools are candidates to clean up corners, so we could set this up to destruct with a larger tool and then come back and clean up the corners with that half-inch bit if we wanted to. Uh, next thing we do, we'll move to this external contour. And I'm going to speed it up a little bit, just so I want to show you one thing. You'll notice that there are five passes, and that's that rule-based system I showed you earlier. But as we move back to where our lead-in was, you'll notice that there is a ramp down between each pass. And that's just to make sure that we limit that head movement between passes and are as efficient as possible. So now I'll just speed this up and let it complete the simulation, and when we're all done, Similar to 3D Bevel, we'll hit Done, and this will get sent back to Sigma Nest and can be nested and posted out just like any other part.